Hey guys, so today I wanted to sort of play off of that video where I did the Let's Get Fancy makeup tutorial where I, you know, really didn't leave out any steps. I did all the bells and whistles to get like my just everyday look that I like. And I decided to do one that's like a Let's Not Get Fancy makeup tutorial where literally this is like, let me just show you. This is what I used. I mean, not a whole lot of stuff. It's very simple. It'd be good for like travel and stuff. It's like you didn't try too hard. It doesn't look like you tried too hard. It's literally just an everyday easy. You don't have to use a million brushes. You don't have to use a million products. I thought I'd just keep it real and do this and just show you that it doesn't always have to get fancy. And, um, you know, sometimes it's nice just to go for a less is more type thing. Um, I'll show you what I'm wearing. I'm wearing a couple new things. I did end up getting some of the necklaces from, uh, this one's by L&M though. I mixed up a couple. From HRH collection, which I'm really excited about. I got some of those lariats that I really wanted. And, um, and this little like bones necklace that kind of goes with it. And then I don't know what this is called. I mean, I'll find out and I'll link below. And then I was so surprised. I got two of these. And they remind me of me and Olivia. It's like a bigger one. It's kind of like pretty. This is a, I think this is an AB stone. And it's a little pretty pink stone that looks, it reminds me of Olivia. It's smaller than that one. So I love those together. Just very non-fussy jewelry, just easy. And um, like I said, I layered it up with my L&M black necklace. Because I really like the way the black looks against the camo. And um, I'll probably just tuck it in today since I'll be with her. And she likes to, she's all about the jewelry. I'm wearing this camo top from Target, my white uh, denim distressed jeans by Express. They're super stretchy, I just got them out of the dryer so they're like majorly, like I can't, like I need to wear them in for a little bit today. And then my Converse shoes, so just very easy and the makeup kind of reflects that as well. So about to go get Olivia up, it's literally like super early in the morning, <laughs> hence the odd shadow that we're getting. Um, but yeah, I just, I hope that y'all enjoy this video. It's just very simple. I just wanted to keep it real and just turn on the camera while I got ready today. So I hope that y'all enjoy it and, um, yeah, let's get ready. And then I take my preci precision face brush and my It Cosmetics Celebration foundation and I just like start like that on my cheek and I just start, um, working it in. You don't have to fool with liquids. I'm using just very a very little bit and just building it slowly rather than just like using a ton. So that's why I'm like dipping it a lot. But you can see this covers really well. I didn't do my under eye concealer, but no big deal. I don't like to get the powder like way up under there, so you can do it before or after. Okay, so really quick. And then I'm gonna use my um, Maybelline Ager Wine and I use the fair color and just have been really enjoying this stuff again. It's like sometimes you forget why you stopped using something, you know? Um, and then Beauty Blender, honestly, I've been enjoying using the Beauty Blender more than like my fingers or a brush or anything for concealer right there. It's just easy and it makes it look better, I think. I like just got up. I'm going um, to run some errands and to take Olivia to the pediatrician. She's like still asleep. I literally just woke up like five minutes ago. And then I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows. And you might think, oh, that's like you know, I'd skip eyebrows or just use a clear brow gel, which totally, yeah, I do that a lot of days. But the Anastasia Brow Wiz is like so unfussy. You don't have to have brushes. You don't have to have. Um, you don't have to work with like a liquid. You don't have to ever sharpen it. It's pretty much like the ultimate, like not fancy eyebrow tool. And I'm trying to think what I'm gonna do for my eyes. I didn't even think I was gonna film this today. It's actually Monday and I might actually put this up today. Oh, the sun's coming in so I'm gonna have a weird, um, the sun comes up on the back of the house, so usually when I film, like, after 11, um, it just is pretty light coming in. It's not, like, direct light, but right now it's going to be, like, direct light. I shut the blinds, but it's, like, coming in, you know, weird. 
Oh my god, now it's like really bad. Oh, okay, I'm about to fix this. I'm just gonna use this bronzer. It's the Endless Summer by Too Faced. Like, I don't have to use highlighter or anything like that. I look so tired right now. Oh my god. Um, I don't have to use highlighter or anything like that because the foundation is like a really pretty like shine to it. But this bronzer, you see, you don't even have to like hardly work with it or blend it or like, you know, it's just easy. It just gives you a little bit of warmth. You can layer it as much as you want, but like for a day like this where I just want to be easy, it's nice to just, maybe I do need the hair clip after all, um, it's nice to just put on and just be like really quick about it, you know? Um, mm -hmm. I need to put on some lip gloss. I'm using my uh, Dior Lip Maximizer, and what I'm doing right now is like, Everything else, I can I can just put on mascara and be good. Anything else is just kind of extra, and I'm doing just for kind of the sake of the video, and just kind of waiting till she wakes up, you know? I'm going to use the color tattoo in, oh, something on my eyelid right there. Back to the bronze, and see, it's just so easy. You can use your finger, and um, this would work and be pretty really on any skin tone. If you had a lot darker skin tone, it would obviously... Not look as dark as it does on me, but it has a really pretty finish to it that I think it would look nice and natural on just about anyone. But for this, it's kind of giving me like a almost just grungy, what am I trying to say, just, just easy look. And I use it under my eye too. And that really kind of adds to the effect. So it's just kind of a blurred, bronzy look. It doesn't look too done. And then I'm using the NARS Mon Menorque. <laughs> this is the cold liner. And it's black. And honestly, if I had a good brown one, I would just use that. It's just not a big deal. But lately, I have been using black. And it's most mostly because I just really like this formula. Um, I need to get a good brown cold liner. This just like mushes right into your eyelashes and you just don't have to work with it long at all which is perfect for days like this you don't have to be careful with it and it's just a really nice like black black and my favorite brush to smudge is this E30 brush by Sigma I can never, my table is such a mess I can never find anything when it's this messy um, and then I just literally go back and forth really soft and it like smudges like a dream so that's probably one of my new favorite eyeliners and it stays put really well so the black kind of gives you a, a good effect I think I feel like there's so many weird shadows in here and I apologize but <laughs> I'm just kind of filming when I can today okay and then like I'm just gonna brighten up my cheeks with the Burberry peony blush like, if you've got brushes handy, use it. I mean, using a brush in the thing isn't going to... But just, you know, to show that you don't have to always get fancy. This is a good, like, travel. You know, you could bring these products with you on a trip and not clunk around a whole bunch of eyeshadow and eyeshadow brushes. You know, you just don't have to, to do that. Does it make a difference a little? You know, it's easier sometimes. You know, and then I always take this brush sometimes if I feel like it's a bit, a bit too much for the pediatrician, you know? I want to go in there like, hey. And, oh, I got to do mascara. <laughs> it's going to be like, we're done. The mascara is good because, like I said, a lot of times, like, I would, you don't even have to do the uh, liner or the, the eyeshadow. But just to show you, it's just an easy step and it looks good. Like, it makes your eyes look done and you didn't, like, go crazy and use, like, a bunch of crazy techniques and stuff. Meh. <laughs> you know what I'm trying to say? Your mascara, use one that like just goes on really quickly that you don't have to like pile on and work with a whole bunch. And I've been using this Bobbi Brown Lash Glamour Extreme. I've got like so many mascaras lately like open right now. It's kind of overwhelming because I usually just keep like a couple open. But um, I've got so many good ones right now. Okay. But I really, this is like the forefront like stand out really good one. And put a little on my lower lashes just to be a little fancy. You can even totally skip that. A couple extra seconds, it doesn't hurt. But like honestly, that was probably the most basic makeup tutorial. And it's just 
you know, for lips. I can honestly leave it like this, but throughout the day, if I do use a lip liner, which you may think is a fussier, like, item, it really saves me time throughout the day. If I just take two seconds and use my Dervish liner, which use a color that's really close to your lips for doing something like this, I've already got my gloss on. That's kind of the point. You go around, you know, the natural edge of your lips, and you don't need to put on anything else. You can just use this. Not move your lips when you're talking and doing this. And it just looks better throughout the day. Like as the lip gloss wears off, this really won't. And you won't have to like reapply so much. And then all you would have to do, I'll probably bring like my Buxom Amy, which I just don't need it left. That's my favorite lip gloss to take with me. I think I have Kimberly in my purse, so I may not carry that with me. Yeah, I have it in my bag. You don't have to be careful. Like, you can even, like, in the middle of your lips, like, rub it along the clear gloss. You see? It's just pretty. So if you don't have Dervish, you need it. So, yeah, I use the lip liner. You might think that's super fussy, but to me, that's just so easy. You can even bring that with you on the go. So, I'm trying to think if there's anything else that I want to mention. So, yeah, super easy. I'm going to fluff my hair a bit. Go get baby ready and head out. And I don't feel like, well, I feel like I've got a giant hair in my mouth. Wayland fuzz? It's like Wayland fuzz. How does that happen? If you have a golden retriever, literally the hair is. Okay. So I hope you all enjoyed it. Yeah, like I said, very basic, but just easy, you know? Super simple. Hope you all enjoyed it, and I will talk to you very soon. Bye.